Hi guys! Happy Halloween! So, I created a spooktacular <laughs> a witch silhouette that I wanted to do up. So, I'll move my little spider. <laughs> so, these are the silhouettes, the pre-cut silhouettes that I sell on my website. So, thank you everybody who's been ordering them. I hope you guys are having fun creating with them. Uh, this one I created just for Halloween and it's a witch so I'm just gonna peel when you get your silhouettes um, you'll see there's a positive and a negative side to them and I usually snip a little bit so that uh, the negative side comes off really well <laughs> and then you just want to really be careful when peeling them off so I'm going to actually peel it off see I already stuck it on itself but you can carefully take that back just like so <laughs> and then you can kind of peel off the rest Ta -da. <laughs> there is the scary witch who I am going to position over here just like so. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure she's all lined up in the frame so you guys can see. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> So she's got some warts on her chin and her nose and she's wearing a witch's hat and I think she's going to be super fun to do. So that's the positive side of the witch which you can keep and use after you're done this side and it's dry to put over to protect it. Um, but I usually use the negative side for this. And I'm going to grab my Liquidex gloss. So I use uh, Liquidex gloss varnish just to seal this vinyl down, just like in the unicorn videos and all the other ones. The So I just want to do a little bit you want to make sure it's thin because if it's thin, it the thinner it is, the less it'll peel up your canvas. And I'm just going to make sure I get this part. And then I can push down with the uh, paintbrush, grab a little more and I just go over it like so and I can push down with my fingers too but this will create a nice seal for the vinyl Now if you put it on thin then it helps to reduce it from peeling up the canvas. Alright, so I'm going to do the top side. And I put it down when it's wet so that the vinyl will actually adhere a bit to the canvas and create a nice seal. I'm 
might get some paint leakage because I kind of stretched the vinyl a bit, but that's okay. I can show you guys how to fix it. And there we are. That's just how we uh, apply the pre-cut vinyls. And I'll let this dry and then we'll come back and do do the spooky what I got is I got some color shift so a pretty purple a pretty green and some glow in the dark so I think that should be pretty cool <laughs> and then I'm gonna use black for the witch over top so that should be pretty fun to do alright guys so it's pretty much dried up here for this witchy silhouette <laughs> and I got my colors mixed up so we got the vibrant this one is the color shift and it's the green flash so it's a nice bright green from folk art um, then we have this really pretty color shift and this one is called purple flash so that one is also from folk art and then we have the super fun I'm not sure how the glow in the dark is gonna make out <laughs> but we have this deco art uh, glow in the dark paint so you're gonna see how that's gonna work so I got those three and then basically the black for the witch part which should be pretty awesome so I'm gonna just add some silicone to the three colors and you only need one to two drops of silicone you don't need any more than one to two drops because otherwise you won't really get big cells so if you're interested in uh, how I mix my paints I do have my acrylic Pouring for Beginners ebook on my website. So the link's in the description. And it just basically goes through how I mix my paints, consistency, and the whole batch of it instead of me explaining each and every time. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, with the silicone, I just basically push it to the bottom. I don't mix it in. The more you mix silicone in, the smaller your bubbles are going to be. So we're just pushing it to the bottom. All right. And now for the fun part. <laughs> so actually I should get some paper towel on hand. <laughs> that could be important. Always good to have paper towel. All right, so I'm going to pour some black because I want my witch to be, I'm going to do the swipe from her face. And don't forget to pull right over the edges. And any of the paint that falls over, we can just make a paint skin with it. So don't worry about it being wasteful. We can use every ounce. I really like this green. It's a super Halloween-y spooky green and then some of this color flash purple <laughs> and you can do lines you can do anything you want so this is the glow in the dark and I'm not too sure how it's gonna show up when you know as glowing but I'll add a bit of it in here and there and I think I might use the glow in the dark to paint on that side anyways so maybe a little bit right here ooh I think that's looking pretty good <laughs> so I'm gonna move these colors out of the way and got my paper towel which I just need to get damp 
So I just sprayed this paper towel with a little bit of water so it's damp but not soaking wet. And that's what I'm going to use to swipe. I add a bit of extra black. Ooh. <laughs> Now this might be difficult because the camera tripod, the way I set this up this time, is right here, but <laughs> basically I put the end of the paper towel into the black. You're going to see it accumulate, and then I just want to swipe it so it glides over. That's looking really good. <laughs> I grab my torch. And the torch is just used to pop the silicone bubbles in the painting. Okay, I might pour it this way a bit. Because I want to get it closer to the witch face. And you can tip the painting any which way. Just remember that tipping will elongate the cells. So you gotta make sure that's what you want. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Now I kinda missed a little bit here but I'm not too worried about it. If I really wanted to I could swipe with one of the popsicle sticks. just to get some cells. Pull some black in here. I think it's looking pretty good. If I really wanted to, I could just bring a little bit of black into the corner. And you're probably wondering what am I going to do about the hat and that part's pretty easy because I'm just going to fill it in with black paint to stretch it out. So I just want to use my popsicle stick or you can use a paintbrush just so that it's even and over top. Just so you get it covered. There we go. She is looking spectacular. <laughs> Ooh, looking so pretty neony. Looks good. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to bring you guys back and we're going to reveal the witch face and paint in the negative space over here. With probably, I don't know, maybe a green or purple or something but I think it looks pretty cool the cells are growing really big okay so this is still quite wet I tried to dry it with um, a heat gun but what happens when you dry with a heat gun is you get some cracking in the paint than when you just leave it to dry naturally but I wanted to get it done before Halloween so this is still quite wet I'm going to try and peel off this vinyl and I did get some paint leakage. See like look at how much paint leakage. So this is because I didn't let the Liquidex gloss dry to seal it because um, I was trying to get it all done but that's okay because I'll just end up painting over a bunch of it.
Okay, so my witch is kind of a mess, <laughs> but that's okay because I'm going to clean that up with some brushes. So this was just because I was trying to rush through it, but it might work in my favor because the paint is still wet, so I can just brush away. See, I can just brush away the parts that I don't really want. I know it's hard to see the witch, but I can just paint her back in. So, just so you know, if things like this happen with your canvases, it's not a lost cause. Okay, so I'm going to, now that I've kind of lifted up all the wet paint, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun just to dry it up and then I'm going to paint over this and reveal the witch. Okay, so I'm going to go with this green color flash for this side, because it's super pretty. Okay, so that's just a rough in. Basically, I'm going to have to do a few coats just to coat that all, but I think she's looking pretty spooky. Okay, guys, so here I'm just showing you how sometimes you get some areas you might not like, like this big green blob in her hat. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I just grab some black paint and you can totally paint over parts of your acrylic pores that you don't like. So like I didn't like this green so I'm going to totally paint over it and touch up some of the black on the witch. You'll notice that the purple flash um, kind of goes up at the top too. That's just because I had it on an unlevel surface so it's very important to dry your paintings on a level surface otherwise it'll start to run off your canvas but I kinda like it. Um, I even like the cracks that happened from trying to dry the paint super fast because it added to the witchy crackly spookiness of it. So I just go in with the black here and I just touching up all of the areas on the witch's face and her silhouette 
and any of the parts you know of your acrylic pour you don't like you could just paint over or take out And here she is, the spooky witch for Halloween. So I just want to say happy Halloween everybody. This witchy silhouette will be available for free on my Crafty Gen art store. Also in the community tab on this my YouTube channel here. And I just want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Uh, I appreciate you using my Amazon links. I do make a small commission off of that and it really helps a lot. So thank you so much for all that everybody and I hope you all have a spectacular Halloween. Thank you so much.